Although Janet Yellen, I guess over the weekend, finally admitted uh, that we're going to have more inflation, right? She said that if the Biden administration's stimulus, if all this extra government spending, which of course is being financed uh, by the Fed and monetized, she said if we end up with more inflation or if we end up in a slightly higher interest rate environment, she said this is a good thing. It's going to be good for society and it's going to be good for the Fed. So instead of basically just saying we're not going to have any inflation or saying inflation is transitory, now she's just saying, okay, we're going to have inflation, but it's a good thing. It's good for society. How is a bigger increase in the cost of living good for society? I mean, does she mean by society like the super rich, like, you know, high society? Is that who's going to benefit because high society is loaded up with assets and has a lot of debt on those assets? Is that what she means, high society? But if she means like all the people, like the middle class and the working poor, a lot of the people who voted uh, for Biden, if by society she means, you know, the common man, who is she kidding? How is a bigger increase in inflation good for the common man? It's not. It is a disaster for society. I mean, there are winners. Yes, some debtors are winners, but overall, there's losers. Yes, the U.S. government maybe is a winner because a lot of its debt gets wiped out, but it keeps on accumulating more. For Janet Yellen, who used to chair the Federal Reserve herself, who supposedly was the nation's number one inflation fighter, to now say that, hey, inflation is good for society. Well, if inflation is so good for society, why does the Fed have a mandate to have low inflation? Why not mandate high inflation? I mean, if you know, if inflation is good, more inflation is better, right? So, I mean, we could really have a, a great society, right, if we have even more inflation. But, of course, Janet Yellen just assumes that it's going to be a little bit more inflation, you know, like she thinks that we're going to have slightly higher interest rates. Well, we're not going to have slightly higher interest rates. Ultimately, we're going to have much higher interest rates. Now, I agree with Janet Yellen that higher interest rates, not slightly higher, but significantly higher interest rates will be good for society in the long run. In the short run, it's going to be a disaster because it's going to prick the bubble. Now, of course, the bubble needs to be pricked. The sooner, the better. But we're going to have to deal with a lot of problems that we have been sweeping under the rug or kicking down the road uh, once that happens. And Yellen doesn't understand that. I mean, she just thinks, oh, we can have slightly higher interest rates and everything's going to be fine, even though we have an enormous amount of debt. It won't be fine. And we won't just have slightly higher rates. We are going to have much higher rates because look at where we're starting from. Rates are at zero, right? The long bond, the yield on the 10-year, I just went over that, is 1.5%. I mean, what's slightly higher? 1.6, 1.7? We're not going to go there. We need to go much higher. Rates need to double, triple. That's not slightly higher. That is significantly higher. That's where rates need to go, and that's where they would go, but for the interference of the Federal Reserve. But they need to be there to return long-term structural balances to the U.S. economy so that we can have savings, so that we can have investments, so that we can have production. We need to have interest rates reflect reality, not manipulated by government. So yes, in the long run, higher interest rates will benefit society. But in the short run, society is going to be in for a world of hurt as we have to finally address the problems that we have refused to address in the past. It's like, you know, the the Novocaine is finally wearing off. And now we got to feel the pain of whatever we were being numbed from, from the Novocaine. But Janet Yellen uh, is not suggesting that at all. She's just trying to say that, well, if we have higher interest rates, that's going to be good for society. Yeah, tell that to all the people who are leveraged to the max. Tell that to the U.S. government that higher interest rates are good. I mean, higher interest rates scare the hell out of the Fed. They scare the hell out of the government. That's why the government and the Fed is doing everything they can to artificially suppress interest rates and now keep them at zero because even a slight increase in interest rates is more than the economy can bear. Remember, 
interest rates got to about 2.5% in the fourth quarter of 2018 when all hell broke loose, and that is a slight increase. To go to 2.5, I think, from where we are would be a slight increase. And if we couldn't handle that back then, we clearly can't handle it now because the level of debt is so much greater than it was then. And so the more debt you have, the lower interest rate is required to be able to service that debt. So if 2.5% was too much when the national debt was significantly lower than it is today, then that threshold is much lower. I don't even think we could survive a move to 1% from the Fed, and I doubt we can survive yields on 10-year treasuries of even 2%, which is why they're still at 1.5%, not because there's no inflation, but because the Federal Reserve is creating massive amounts of inflation to artificially limit the yield on these bonds, because that's the only way the government can afford to pay the interest. So the inflation is there. And now you even have Janet Yellen acknowledging that we're going to have inflation. She's just trying to convince us that it's a good thing. Well, at some point, it's going to be obvious that we've got too much of a good thing. The Peter Schiff Show.